Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on using set notation to calculate probabilities. Now in previous videos we explored Venn diagrams. A Venn diagram is just a visual way of representing sets and a set is just a collection of items. So for example this circle labelled S are the students who use a swimming pool and that represents all the students who use the swimming pool. And the number in each region tells you how many students we have in that particular collection. So these 12 students here, for example, are those students who only use a swimming pool but don't use a gym because it's in the S circle but not in the G circle. These eight students are in the overlap of the S circle and the G circle, so they're the students who use both the swimming pool and the gym. These are five students who only use the gym and these six students don't use the swimming pool nor the gym. Now we can use operations like this to somehow combine sets. And in another video we saw how that works. So for example, if you had your S circle and your G circle and we wanted to represent the region S intersection G, so this symbol means the intersection, that means the region which is both in S and in G. So you can think of this symbol which looks a bit like an N, but it's not quite an N, it's actually a sort of cap symbol. We can think of that as the word AND. So the things that are in S AND in G, well that would be here, the things in S AND in G. So we can see therefore there's eight students that are in S and G. So we want the probability that we're in S and G. Well that's eight students out of the total of 31 students. So therefore that answer is eight out of 31. Now we also saw that this symbol here, this dash, or formerly known as prime, so it's S intersection G prime, that means not. So this symbol here means not. So we want the things that are in S and are not in G. Well, what's the region that's in S? Well, that's the region that's S, but it's not allowed to be in G. Well, that limits us to just this region here, because this region here is in S, but it's not in the G circle. And we want the probability of being in that region, so it's those 12 things out of the total of 31 students. So it's 12 out of 31. What about the next one? This symbol here means we want the union of S and G, and you can think of it as the word or. So we want the things that are in S or in G. So if we were to represent this graphically, S or G is anywhere that's in S or in G. So it's kind of like this kind of figure of eight shape here. And it can be in both S and G. If we say we're in S or in G, then that's true even if we're in both S and G. So we want this total figure of eight shape. We add the 12, the eight, that's 20, plus the five is 25. So it's 25 out of the total of 31. We're working out probabilities here. Now, the next one, the probability of G prime, the probability that we're not in G. Well, this circle is where we are in G, so what stuff is outside of G? If we kind of cross out the G, well, we've got the 12 students here and the 6 students here, that's 18. So it's 18 out of 31. And then finally, the probability of S prime intersection G prime, that's the probability that we're not in S and we're not in G. Well, not in S and not in G, that's outside both of these circles, we're not in either, so that must be the 6 out of 31, and that's the final answer.